Okay. <clears throat> Basically, this is what's going to happen. Um, I'm already recording the screen. I'm just making sure it's, everything's working. I'm going to join the Skype call with my friends, and I'm going to message them on a group chat using my tablet, and we're going to see how this works out. So, let's do this. By the way, they won't be able to hear me, which is why I need to measure them on the tablet. So let's see. Whoever's watching this, if you're wondering, yes, I am on crack cocaine. Yes, I realize you're gonna upload this. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do everything in my power to go against YouTube, uh, uh, whatever the fuck it is, the fucking standards, so it's unavailable to upload. Fuck. Shit, fuck, bitch. <laughs> fucking uh, Donald oh. Trump. You go, you go, oh, you go and get banned. Trust. <laughs> Donald Trump is a sleazy scumbag with fake hair. Barack My Obama. Bag. My bag. <laughs> I have fucked like ten babies, it, un, inconsensually, because they they were just born. You fucking bitch. And they had the idea that my dick was gonna be in their mouth. Why? But it was, and I have no shame. <laughs> I was about to say some shit, but I can't. <laughs> he said, I he said, you bitch! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Everything he's saying right now you is false. No, I'm never going to watch this video, Randy, and I'm going to explain why. Because it has my voice in it, and I hate it. <laughs> I'm going to watch this video religiously. I'm going to watch it when I wake up, when I'm here, and when I go to bed, or before I go to bed. Because, you know, you can't watch Shit while you were asleep, because you were sleeping, your eyes are closed. <laughs> Why are you gassing everything right now? What? <laughs> so, what are you talking about? It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> See, weren't you gonna fucking ask questions? What is this? Where the, like, where the fuck are the questions at? Yeah, like, you're just having us sit here and try and come up with shit so it's not a silent ass video, but like, come on. What the what fuck was that? It just occurred to me that I have a fucking tablet. The echo is real right now, okay? Just saying. Is it still okay, echoing, it at, still this echoing at this moment? It echoes for you. For me. That's because he's got two devices on site. I know. I know. That's why I was saying that it wasn't echoing for you, but it's echoing for him. I know. I was just being stupid with my shit. Like, <laughs> I know what it means, Louis. <laughs> <laughs> why are you the one getting offended when, when you were literally trying to point out the fact? I am so offended right now. No, 
but see, you were trying to explain to me that it wasn't me being loaded. I understood this. I had already known that it wasn't me echoing. I was just acting like an idiot. Why are you the one acting offended? Okay. You know what? Let's just forget about this. Randy, what are the fucking questions? Well, I mean... Oh, 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 oh. Yeah! Well, I mean, now I'm, well, here. I'm, now I'm here. Well, you, so you're not gonna ask any questions? No. You're not gonna start a conversation? <laughs> no, you're warm. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick, are you crazy? Patrick, are you crazy? No, I'm no, warm. I'm warm. <laughs> oh my god, that's just too much. Oh my god. Bitch. I mean, the fact that he questioned it too, like, there was a question mark at the end of that fucking statement. He was like, uh, are you? As if he's like questioning it, like, am I really dirty here? I feel like I'm Patrick out of all people, because let's be real, I'm as dumb as he is. Why am I roasting myself? And you keep to, you, you seem to keep forgetting that I'm going to upload this. I'm not forgetting. I know you're going to upload this. I'm trying to forget the fact, because I don't like the fact that I'm being recorded, you know? Hey, you... I don't give you consent to upload this, Randy. See, no, that's bullshit, because no, that's... I literally warned you, literally and you warned didn't say you. shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, what? Trying to blame me and shit. Blame me. Here's a meme going around everywhere on the internet now. What? I'm confused, what? Can you run that by me real quick again? I did not have sexual relations with the internet. I mean, I mean, I hear, I hear those people calling Maddie lately. The internet. You wanna know what's something funny? Wait, real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna kill myself. Okay. Let me go ahead. <laughs> okay, the delay is real. I speak into a Skype call on my tablet and I steer it off my phone. So it's really weird. So it's really weird. Does Maddie watch your videos in any way? I have no fucking clue. I have no fucking clue. Well, here's my chance. If this fucking bitch is watching this video, I swear to God. Get off! <laughs> Where? <laughs> Oh, you did. Oh, you bitch. Why? This is your I got chance. nothing to say to this. <laughs> Get off! Get off! <laughs> Get off. <laughs> Get off. <laughs> so 
say one more thing. Cheese balls. Cheese balls. Get them. Get them. <laughs> Okay. I just want her to go stab it. Fuck. All right. I'm <laughs> saving that for the next time we do have to wait because shit's gonna go down. I swear to God. Be careful what, Carissa. Be careful good. what you say. Let me just let you say this. Shit already goes down in that toilet. <laughs> Sitting on toilet. <laughs> Sitting on toilet. Sitting on toilet. Sitting on toilet. Sitting on toilet. Now flush. Now flush. Okay, so for people who aren't aware, the only other dude besides me in this call is Lewis, aka Chubby Guys Entertainment. What's good, John? Welcome back. But this is our first this video. Our Shut, first the video. Shut the fuck up. This is our first video. Fuck you. <laughs> Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. It is currently. It is currently. Hold on. It is currently uh, three twenty three in the morning. We are hyped for no reason. I don't. I don't know what's wrong with me, honestly. I mean, it's the first day of twenty seventeen. Well, now it's the second day. <laughs> We're living like Larry. We're living like Larry. Living like Larry. Living like Larry. Living like Larry. <laughs> oh shit, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh shit, Larry. Oh, Lewis, if we. But yeah, oh, Lewis, 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 Lewis. Lewis. <laughs> Real quick. And Chubby Guy Entertainment in his voice. Which is kind of. It's kind of stupid if you don't know that because we have a Facebook page together. We were part of the same fucking band like twice. We had countless fucking covers on YouTube together. So I mean, you you kind of if you don't know that you're you're just kind of fucking stupid. Sorry, there's no other way around it. Don't be so rude to my subscribers, don't be so bitch. Don't be so rude to my subscribers, bitch. I'm not being rude. I'm just saying it's I'm, it's a kind of gig. I mean, like I'm this fucking bitch. <laughs> yo, it, yo, yo, it's the yay yay, 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 yay at the yay, end that gets me. I can tell because you guys just started, started laughing out of nowhere. <laughs> it's over. Because, like, during it's the over. it was silent for when I hit the yay yay. Because, no, because I, I was no, chuckling a little bit once, once you started it. Once I knew you were doing it, I was okay. But then the moment I fucking hear the yay yay, I'm like, oh my god. I'm fucking dumb. <laughs> Uh, wait, what, 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 what's his name again? Who are we talking about? I, 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 I forgot his name. Orlando Brown, a.k.a. Eggie from That's Oregon. Yeah, that, that's just yeah, in case you guys are curious who the fuck we're talking about. Is that one of the reasons why she's a lesbian now? She's a lesbian? She's a lesbian? I mean, like, just look at her. It's kind of obvious. I saw the whole That's So Raven reunion on the view or whatever. On YouTube, and Raven looked like she was. She looked like Britney Spears did in like two thousand in the early two thousands when she shaved her head and shit. Cause she had like blue fucking dreads that were, like the sides of her head were shaved, and she had like red ass lipstick. I'm like, what are you? She had. She took her dreads right, and she wore it as a scarf. Like dreads as a scarf. That's dope. Literally. That's dope. The realest shit. That's probably the realest. That's probably the realest shit I'm ever gonna hear all year. Oh shit, that rhymes. Real talk. Real talk. That fucking made my head hurt. Oh my god. 
I'm so glad I don't I'm work so glad with I don't work with I do. Ah. <laughs> I'm unemployed. <laughs> I spiked it with bleach. I, spiked it with bleach. <laughs> I hate my job. <laughs> I have 24 hours to live. Huh? <laughs> Okay. Uh, I wouldn't say we're stalling. It's just that you guys never let me speak one word of the questions. Nor have I thought of any, but I think I got some. Hey, hey, I was quiet for a little while there. Hey, hey, hey. If anybody is stalling here, it's me. Okay, I'm the Russian dictator. Okay, Randy, you're Hitler, and Kermit said you can dispute it. Why can't she be Joan of Arc? Why can't she be Joan of Arc? Why can't I be Hitler? What is this? Because you're not German, you're bitch. Not German, bitch. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> you're Italian. Get, you're the Italian. Get the fuck out of here. I'm sad, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I rest my case. <laughs> so, Louis, you're AKA dating so a fucking Louis, Nazi? You're AKA dating a fucking Nazi? <laughs> okay then. I got nothing to say. Or, or as Blink, uh, Blink, Blink, really, really, Lewis, it's Blink, it's Blink, okay. As Bill Clinton once said, I did not have sexual relations with that Nazi. Okay then. <laughs> okay then. I got nothing to say again. You know, it's fun, because I, I, I want to build a wall. Oh my fucking god, we're not starting this. We're not <laughs> starting with this shit. No, I refuse. No, no Trump, no Trump for the Skype call, alright? No. <laughs> maybe, next, maybe next time. Only when we're fucking playing Minecraft. That's all we fucking need. I don't need other shit. I swear to god. But you agree it's funny when we're playing Minecraft. Barely. <laughs> Barely. Barely. That shit, how old is that? <laughs> I'd, say I'd say maybe a year or two. Year two. <laughs> Alright, okay, let, let's go with these questions. Okay, <clears throat> I'll start with Lewis. I'll start with Lewis. Or aka Chuppy or Guy Entertainment, guy subscribe to him. Subscribe to him. Um, um, Lewis, well, what Lewis, are your plans sure, for 2017? Plan? Uh, you got any covers uh, that you got planned, or you just gonna wing it? that for my whole channel basically is um <clears throat> the reason i named the chubby guy entertainment even though there's a majority of covers on there is because i do a bunch of shit that i just really need to get the motivation to do like when i get better recording equipment <clears throat> i'll have like you know skits and stuff i might even edit it on when my life gets more interesting but really on there right now it's just a bunch of covers and chubby guy dances so say that look out for any like skits or whatever because they're not happening anytime soon but eventually you know i'm gonna step away from the covers for a while you know focus on some original shit and hopefully you know i can actually make music one day i've got a shit ton of lyrics no fucking okay okay, okay. Too, too bad um you ever thought of like thought finding of, some like, just random some instrumentals just random that you could use for free? Use like free. yes, I know like, it's kind of yes, cheap, cheap, but I mean at least you got something done. I mean, I have thought about that, but the only problem I've had with it is that like normally I, I like I don't have a problem with it. It's just that I very much rather um be given a bunch of like resources to create an instrumental mm -hmm. myself. And make them fit with the lyrics than having lyrics fit with an instrumental. Because, I mean, that Sumerian audition for the whole shit where, like, no clean, like no screens or whatever, where they said, like, come up with lyrics for this instrumental, that shit was hard as fuck for me because they didn't want any screen views. So I, I would rather make an instrumental based on the lyrics than lyrics based on the instrumental. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah I get what you're saying. All right, now for people right, who don't now, know who the woman who is in this call, it's my best friend my and Lewis's girlfriend, girlfriend, Carissa. Carissa. Say hi, Carissa. Yeah, so even though 
y'all can't see her. She fine as fuck. Trust me, but y'all can't get none. <laughs> <laughs> Say hi, Carissa. Say hi. Chicken nugget, chicken, nah, chicken nah, nugget chicken, covers. Know, okay. Chicken <clears throat> okay, so, so this is gonna be. Oh a, this is gonna be a, <laughs> all right, so real quick, right, so can, can, can I speak, please? Okay, this is gonna be a question okay, toward everyone. Gonna Everyone's gonna have their opinion on this. But I'm gonna name it towards Carissa because I know what she's all about, Carissa. Please explain how you feel about Austin Carlisle. Please explain how you feel about Austin Carlisle leaving of mice and men. Because this is important things like, are you interested on? Are you interested in where you think they're going to be going without him? Do you think the music's going to be different at all? It's not even about that, okay? It is. Uh, no, no, listen, no, no, listen, listen. This, this is just gonna, this is good. What's gonna piss people off, okay? Kinda. Not really, because it's a fucking story. Austin Carlisle is of mice and men. Let's be real. Like how Brendan, yeah, like how Brendan like Gary is, is Pierre de Vista. Basically, there is kind no of. without Austin Carlisle. So now it's just. Now it's just the mice and men, but like featuring her and Polly or some shit. It's not. It's not the same. They might as well just change the name. Yeah, but then again, yeah, if you think again, about it, that's like saying I see like stars and I see stars, but I die. Or Esther or Esther and Zayn are about here. No, no, no. See, 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 see. I see stars. But let's be real. New demons. Any songs off New Demons are not New Demons without Zach. Don't forget digital. Don't forget digital. Yeah, any any album that Zach did with Icy Stars is not an album without Zach. <coughs> Tree, uh, what's the new album? Treehouse. Treehouse. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Treehouse is Treehouse without Zach. Treehouse is a bunch of. I'm not gonna say. Anything. No, go ahead. No, you're, no, you're, no, stating, no, you're, you're stating your opinion. opinion. Go for it. Look, Treehouse was a bunch of bullshit, in my opinion. I'm sorry, okay? <laughs> the songs were good. The songs were good, okay? They were good. It's just that what pisses me off... My voice is cracked, so you don't really... I'm yeah, really upset about this. <laughs> <laughs> but what, what pisses me off is that it, it sounds good. It sounds good. Shit, I fucks with Bob and Now and Portals. And, and literally, uh, except, uh, every song except for All In. I don't fucks with All In. That does it. <laughs> but... <laughs> What pisses me off is that if you're gonna start screaming for your band, don't sound a certain way in the studio and then stick to one pitch live. I'm sorry, but shots fired at Devin Oliver. <laughs> Only scream when you can make sure you can scream live. Because you got because uh, you got rid of Zach Johnson and he he he's a pretty good fucking scream. Those are pretty big shoes to fill. If you're going to try to perform songs off New Demons like 10,000 feet, just make sure you can scream. At least at, at, at the level that Zach did. Because right now, the honestly, the better vocalist all around, in my opinion now, like Devin is obviously the better clean vocalist. But, I mean, Zach started singing, but it doesn't sound that bad. He can both sing and scream now. Which is kind of better, in my opinion, than having a good singing voice with shitty screams. 
aka Dennis Shafarov. That's a whole that's a whole other conversation. We'll talk about that we'll after. Talk about that after. Now, um, <clears throat> real quick, um, in case you guys are wondering where Zach uh, Johnson is, he's in a band called Outer Glow. You guys can uh, look him up on YouTube. They're actually a pretty good band. They basically keep that heavy set style that Icy Stars and Demon has. It just isn't as like jumpy as it as it was. But it's still a pretty good band. Dude, I fucking love New Demon's that album. Was like, it's just, I, I hate the fact that they kick Zach, well, I mean, they didn't kick him out, they asked him to leave, but it's basically the same shit. I'm just like, bruh, like, New Demons was their shit to me, and then, like, they came out with fucking Phases, and then, like, their, their and Phases was a good album, I'm not gonna have, I'm not gonna hate. <clears throat> but then, like, we, like, I wanted new music that was kind of like New Demons, but different at the same time, but Treehouse is a little too different. And what I, what I mean by two different, it's like, it, it's just, I can't really get into Treehouse as much as I did New Demons. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah, I feel you. Now, um, now, since we're talking about we're album talking differences, about differences, let's go so back let's to Curse's favorite band of Mice and Men. How do you guys feel about Cold War? I mean, I like the album. I do, because I like all their music. Like, what which one would you say would like, be your favorite? Which one would you say would be your favorite? I can't choose that, Randy. Okay, 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 okay. What songs do you what find yourself you listening find yourself to the most? To the most? Uh, that's hard, Randy. Like, do you find like, yourself listening to a song the most song from the flood of my slam or restoring force? Like, which do you listen to the most? I mean, I can't say 
because I mean, I am like, I may not see him at times because my girlfriend's so much more obsessed over him than I am, but I am a big fan of Austin Carlisle, and it's so sad to hear what happened to him and why he had to leave. But, I mean, I'm looking forward to what he comes out with next, honestly. Alright, that's good. Now, that's let good. me base my opinion real quick. Um, for Cold World, I like the album. I haven't listened to all the songs, but the songs I find myself listening to the most are, um, The Lie, Contagious, um, I can't remember them off the top of my head, uh, Pain, Like a Ghost, I find myself listening to those songs the most. And then, like, like, the way I listen to way Cold listen World to is Cold basically, World I think basically, of it as a, it as a kind of more, kind of like, more like, chill like, out chill version out than version Restoring than Force. Because, like, it's still, like, like, it's still I like, still think it's the I same it's with the Restoring same, Force. It's just a little bit more chill little with little vocals and everything. Um, and then when it comes to, like, the best album, I recently just have been listening to their first album, Of Mice and Men. And I like uh, every song on that like album. And then I like the album. flood. And then, like and then the, the flood deluxe edition. I I've listened to the songs, but the one I like the most is the storm because Carissa told me to listen to it. So if I had to choose my favorite. Yeah, and, that, and, that, and that's exactly what I'm talking about when I meant that uh, Cold World was the chill-out version of Restoring Force because Austin's singing in there. He wasn't singing in Restoring Force. Alright, real quick, real quick. This is completely unrelated, but Randy, I just came up with a name that you can name in these kinds of videos that we do over a stack. What is it? What is it? Paradox Podcast, son. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> I'm diddly down with it. And due to the fact that this is gonna be the first video, it's probably gonna be complete utter shit. But that's okay. That's okay. 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 We're gonna go back to We're the beginning. Go back to the beginning. Shh, shh, shh. I was getting to I it. Was to it. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> going back to the beginning of 2016, <laughs> as Can Alexandria dropped their new album called The Black with their new vocalist that they had by the name of Dennis Stoff, or Lewis, his last name being. Chef I'm gonna lay it down for you guys. I don't like Dennis. Never did. Like, the music he was making, spot on, spot on. But when it came to him as a person, that dude was a fucking dick. Now, when I heard he was gonna be an Eskimo Alexander, I was like, no, nah, you could have picked any other person. But you picked him. I know what's gonna happen. I, I even told Lewis. I was like, he's gonna I fuck up. But Lewis was like, Randy, was like, you're just mad because Danny is now doing Danny country and Dennis country is doing the good shit. And I'm just like, he's gonna, gonna fuck up. But either way, when the black came out, I gave it the benefit of the doubt. I was like, I was like, eh. But then as I listened to more songs, I was getting into it. And then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt. He's actually pretty good. I can't wait to see what other albums they make. And then BAM! He goes ahead and ruins it for himself. Saying that asking Alexandria owes him. Like, bitch, ain't nobody owe you shit. The only people who technically owed you something was the dudes from Make You Famous. And then look what happened. They made a band. They're still in that band. The only person who's out in the band now was your screamo, which is Surge. And I hope you're doing well. That band is still going. Other than that. Dennis, you ain't doing shit but looking like a drug addict, like you want heroin and shit, bro. Now, Lewis, go ahead, um, before I continue on for the next two hours. Alright, well, I mean, what, are we just giving our 
opinions on what the fuck the black was and shit. Yeah, and like what you thought yeah, of it and like what you think of it now and everything. Okay, okay. Well, um, obviously Danny toward the to, to, Danny's live performances weren't uh, the best toward the end of his first run with AA. He were like to, like around the time where he he was gonna leave. His live performances were getting worse and worse because, I mean, he would not scream certain parts in a song that were meant to be screamed. His sc- he just did not put any effort into screaming whatsoever. He really wanted that uh, classic rock sound. And I can't hate it on that because, I mean, I'm a pretty big fan of classic rock myself. But, I mean, if you're going to make a song that's metalcore or whatever, like, stick to the metalcore sound for that particular song. And then sing, you know, a song that has classic rock, a classic rock sound. That's just how you fucking do it. Uh, so I kind of, I was kind of not the biggest Danny Worst not fan because, you know, he kind of just, you know, <coughs> was a dick on on stage or whatever. So when he left, I was like, well, at least now they can focus on getting back on track and being more metalcore, you know, being how AA was. And I was like, let's see what this new guy is now, Randy. Had already known who Dennis Shackleroff was because of his band, you know, Down and Dirty and Make Me Famous. And he was like, this guy is a no-go, bro. He's going to fucking leave. And he's going to be a dickhead. And I'm like, look, man, look. Let me experience the shit. And then I'll give you my opinion. <laughs> and his, his first couple of live shows, they were a little... Like, well, Really, what bothered me that I tried, I kind of tried to look over with Dennis because I'm like, well, at least you know he's having fun and he's putting effort into the performance. What bothered me was the way he advertised himself as a new vocalist. You know, he kind of he put up all these covers on Instagram or whatever where he's singing uh, "Fucking the Kill," um, uh, "Fucking Killing You," "Closure." Um, he's singing his own "Fucking" by Down and Dirty. He's singing Three Now by Stephen Lewis Irons, let, let's cheers to this. And he's hitting, like, inhuman pitches where he's, like, going, like, it, like, I don't think he has it nuts because he went so fucking high in pitch. And that's kind of what made me psyched. I was like, yo, this guy's vocals are crazy. Like, AA's live shows are going to be fucking lit. And then the first couple of live shows were kind of, like, his voice was kind of off. And now I was like, okay, you know what? He hasn't toured for a while, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to be like real easy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to let it slide. <laughs> but um, his voice did eventually get better to a point, but he still didn't hit the inhuman pitches he hit in those Instagram videos. And that's kind of what kept annoying me. I'm like, if you're gonna, if you're gonna like show your amazing vocal range, and then completely bitch out when it comes to live shows. Why the fuck would you even show us that you can do this? Like, you're just like... It's like... That's like pouring the milk before the cereal. <laughs> it's just disappointing. Like, it, like, closest I got to hearing him hit that, those high pitches were the song Here I Am, uh, off the black. Which, I mean, I don't like the song. The song itself is great. But... Uh, I looked up a live video of him. I'm like, I want to see if Dennis can really hit this live. Don't let me down, Dennis. This motherfucker had the audacity to take the easy way out and just high scream the high notes instead of singing them. And I was like, you fuckhead. You let me down. But again, I wasn't mad at it because I'm like, you know what? He's putting effort into his performance, and I would look at Ben and all the other band members, and they look happy with him. I'm like, hey, if Ben's happy, I mean, you know, he had to deal with Danny being a drug addict and all this and that, so, I mean, he deserves this. I'm going to support them either way. And The Black wasn't a bad album. It just wasn't AA, now that I think about it. At first, I was like, you know, they're getting back into the whole metal sound, but, I mean, now... Well, let's fast forward to when the, the whole shit happened where Dennis left. How how egotistical do you have to be to tell a top fucking band like asking Alexandria 
we're talking about like the fucking headliners of Super League records. They're fucking huge. And you're gonna say Afghan Alexandria is not a thing until I get what I'm owed. Okay. First, what the fuck are you owed? Please Second. tell me. <laughs> Second. How like how much like how high do you consider yourself on like a scale? Between fucking one and ten, to tell asking Alexandria that they're, that they're not a thing once you get whatever the fuck you're owed, which I'm guessing is fucking respect and um, manners, because you have the fucking balls to tell asking Alexandria that, like, I'm saying the f- top fucking hit on Sumerian, like they're they're a fucking like, when everyone thinks metalcore or, like, fucking, I mean, I don't want to say this, but I'm going to say it anyway. When everyone thinks seating kids or, like, basically, like, whatever what anyone thinks of, of a heavy emo band, they think asking Alexandria. And you're going to say they don't exist until you get what you're owed. I mean, you're not even the original vocalist, so you need to get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. Okay, that's <laughs> number one. Number two. Your vocals are shit live. You do not do low screens. All you do are high screens. And you barely, you barely hit high notes. You only hit them once and that was on a radio show. And number three. You got your start on YouTube. Fucking YouTube. Meanwhile, me and you are trying to get our start on YouTube. Ask Alexandria just took off immediately. They didn't have to do YouTube. They didn't have to. Hook. They didn't have to make one band. They didn't have to leave that band and make another one. They didn't have to make what? What was that fucking shit? He had like some blood on the dance floor thing going called Cat Cow Moogie Way with some blonde guy. I swear they look gay as fuck. Which I'm not saying gay is an insult. But you know what? I mean, in this case, it is. I don't care. Sue me, okay? Post on Twitter on Tumblr. I probably will your fucking opinion. <coughs> <coughs> so Dennis leaves. And I'm like, okay, well, I wonder who then... And then, focus. and then, wait, 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 let's, let's not jump ahead real quick. When Dennis leaves, I immediately tell Lewis, I fucking told you! And I was like, look, bro, look, okay, I get it, alright? And even that series, okay? But, I mean, Dennis leaving is kind of what made me feel like the way I do about him now. I'm just like, because I fucking, I was a big Dennis Temple stuff fan. Should I even know how to pronounce his last fucking name? I mean, I guess you could say he was sucking them pretty off. hard. The fuck was but that? But then he left, and I'm just like, how are you going to leave a top fucking fan like that? Like, it just, it boggles my mind. Um, and, uh, he, yeah, he said, I told you so, or whatever, and I'm like, look, bro, look, look, okay. You ain't got to go there. Okay, you did tell me, you did tell me, okay. Okay, I get it. He's a fucking prick. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> you were right. Okay. And then, I, and then I'm thinking to myself, I'm just like, well, I mean, what's going to happen now? And then Randy informed me of the Instagram video that Marion posted, which honestly gave me chills when I first saw it. Randy, do you want to describe it? The video? Yeah, you know, the promo video for the thing he was in the time store. Okay. When it had the, the microphone from Stand Up and Scream. Oh, and then fucking Danny's hand picks it up. That was so beautiful. I saw, I, I first saw that video on, um, on Facebook. And I was like, what? Um, I saw it on Instagram. Yeah, I know. I, 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 I was looking on Sumerian and I saw it there. But I, I first saw it on Facebook. And I hear, like, if you guys have ever heard um, the the song Welcome off the Reckless and Relentless album, the beginning piano playing. Reckless and Relentless is their best album. I agree. Um, If you ever heard the piano playing in the video, it's the piano playing, and then it starts glitching out, and the stand-up and scream mic is on the floor. And it starts, uh, like, glitching out, and you're just like, what the fuck's going on? And you see, if you don't know Danny's tattoos, you will probably wouldn't know who the fuck picked up the mic, but 
me being a big Danny Warstop fan, I knew his tattoo immediately, and I'm just like, oh, hell yes. So then I saw... Oh, I, could t- I could tell that was Danny's hand immediately. When I saw the... When, when, and then when I saw the video on Instagram again, I sent it to, to Carissa and Lewis, and I was like, guys, look! <laughs> And, and Lewis was, and I was like, just like, yo, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I, I, I peed a little bit. Nah, I'm lying. <laughs> it was, I was hyped. I was like, bro, Danny's returning. And like, what I was hyped about, because I mean, yeah, I, I kind of, I wasn't the biggest Danny World Cup fan toward when he first, like, started leaving the first time. But him coming back kind of told me that, okay, he's into it again, and he's gonna start putting effort into his fucking performances now. Because, like, Danny's not a bad vocalist whatsoever. If anything, he's one of the best I fucking know. I mean, the fucking... The Miss Fucking Memorial performance is enough to tell you that by itself. But what annoyed me was that he... Like, I knew he was able to do that. He just never did it. It, it, like, it, it was a choice. Like, people were like, oh, he doesn't growl because he got vocal surgery and it's fucking... But... The fucking Miss Parker Memorial show was after the vocal surgery. He was growling like a fucking beast there. Yeah, he even says when, on, once says he gets on stage, he's like, this is my first time on stage in a while. And he goes, ham. Oh, yeah, I remember that. And then like, you can't say that he doesn't like... <laughs> and then like, you can't say... <laughs> you can't say you can't growl because... Literally after the vocal surgery was complete, they created From Death to Destiny, and he was growling in some of the songs. Hell, even Poison starts off with him like doing like a low, like a low, mid growl type deal. And then, yeah. I mean, if, even when he was, I mean, he still is with uh, Harlot, but I mean, you know, he's kind of bal- balancing between asking and Harlot. But, uh, fucking denial. It's like he fucking growls that too. Then if you listen to the song, um, uh, fuck. It's like one, it's like the heaviest song that's on the We Are Harlot album. I think it's, um, one more, no, that's, that's not one more night. It's something with night in it, New Orleans, I think. But either way, Danny Warsnop is one of the best vocalists that I um, appreciate. The ones that I look up to. He's the, he's he's kind of the reason why I, I am a, a vocalist. Randy, 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 let's keep it real. You aspire to be Danny Warsnop. <laughs> At the moment, not right now, because my fucking voice is killing me. Okay, yeah, it is called One More Night. You want to be this man so that you want to meet this man, you want to shake his hand, and you want to suck that girl off. I wouldn't say I want to suck his girl, but I actually want to give him like a nice fucking hug. <laughs> I want to hug him like so hard. Real quick, Randy, Randy, I feel like we're hogging all the spotlight. Carissa, how did you feel about the whole asking Alexandria situation? Dennis is a fucking bitch. But I mean, if I recall, wait, 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 if I recall. I'm saying, I'm saying, like, I'm saying, explain, like, from, like, when Danny left to when he come, came back, like. So basically, the fucking Dennis shit. I'm, I'm saying, explain how you felt towards Danny before, kind of, like, around the time where he was about to leave. And then, like, explain how you saw it about Dennis at first. At Danny. first, I was iffy about Danny. I'm gonna be honest. I'm sorry, Randy. I apologize. I'm sorry. Your voice was kind of good. I was iffy. All right. And then, at first, Dennis was okay, too. Because, I mean, let's be real. In those Instagram videos, his fucking voice is good as hell. But then it got bad because he's a fucking bag bitch like dramatic as hell i don't like him anymore and danny's fucking great now 
I guess you could say Danny. So really I guess you could say really Danny. Wait, wait, wait. Really, wait, really quick. Really, really quick. I, I just, I need, I need, if we're mentioning Dennis, I need to mention this. All right, I just have to say it. I'll just say it once, and then, and then we just have to move on. Okay. No laughing about okay. it. Just move on. All right. Okay. I'm probably not going to laugh about it. Let's be real. But I only have... I only have one more thing to say regarding Dennis Shafarostov, and that is Squidward nose penis. All right. Um, <laughs> I I literally had a feeling you were gonna fucking mention that. I, 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 honestly, I, I honestly did not see that coming. Did not see that coming. I did. <laughs> oh, Carissa, you saw it Carissa, coming. You saw it coming. <gasps> ah! uh, I mean, she heard. I, I, I mean, I mean, she heard it a couple nights ago. But I mean, mm. other than that, ah! <laughs> Lewis, <laughs> you need to keep it PG thirteen. PG thirteen. PG thirteen, nigga. You are rated NC seventeen, and that means no cold. No cold. No cold. <laughs> that means no cold story. <laughs> now there is no cure for genital herpes. Nigga, you can suppress it. Cannot stop. <laughs> the fitness grand teaser test. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got. Oh my god, if if it were if a wrestling fan watches you, they'll know what the fuck I just said. Okay, so let's get back to this topic. All right, let's go ahead and talk about a different band. Um, Suicide um, Silence. Did you buy it from Mitch Rock and Memorial Show? Show. Uh, a couple uh, months ago, couple they, months mentioned, ago they mentioned, I think it was like two, like three months ago. Two, three months ago. There's an article yeah. saying that they're going to go for like a hard rock type, type deal. Me, I'm kind of skeptical on it because, I mean, I've known them as like a deaf core band. And then I was already iffy about the new guy, Eddie. I mean, he's a good vocalist, but it's not the same as Mitch, and I'm not a Mitch lover. But Mitch was the band, really. Was the he band, was, like, really. the front man like of that band. He man. had so much energy going. He had so much and then Eddie, going. I'm not saying he doesn't have Eddie, energy, I'm but I'm like, I just, energy, yeah, it's, I just, it's kind of weird. Yeah, it's kind of weird. So, like, them going to hard so, like, rock, going to hard I don't know how rock, I feel I about, about it until I hear it. Other than that, there's not much I can really say on it until I hear something. But other than that, I'm already skeptical about it. What about you guys? Carissa, you start first. Carissa, you start first. Yeah, I'll work because the sound that they have going on now is great. Like, I have no problem with it. But I am so ready to see what this is going to sound like. Like, I'm kind of curious. Like, You're kind of curious. I'm kind of curious. <laughs> I'm, like, literally. You're so curious. <laughs> yeah. But, um, <laughs> uh, I have to agree with Carissa, because, I mean, yeah, I mean, I wasn't much of a Mitch lover. I mean, I got into I got into Suicide Silence after his death, unfortunately. Same. But, um, same. See, seeing his live performance, I'm like, damn, this dude just gonna fucking get headbang one day and his head's gonna go flying off. Because I don't know if he kept that up. Now, one thing I will say that a lot of people, a, a lot of, I see a lot of metal elitists saying, and I don't want to consider myself a metal elitist because most of those guys are douchebags. But um, Mitch's voice was not the best. I'm sorry for all you've seen kid emos watching, but Mitch's voice was not the best. His high screens could kick ass. Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. at least be more specific. His voice wasn't, his like, voice good, wasn't like, good, like, near his like, death, near his so, like, death, in, so, like, in the Black Crown. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah, everything before the Black Crown, like, the time to bleed got my fucking dick hard. That album is amazing. But, um, I mean, all the, all the songs are amazing. I'm just saying, uh, live versions, but everything before the Black Crown was phenomenal. M Mitch was all over the place. I mean, I, I, I got scared at times. I'm like, he's going to punch someone in the face and a lawsuit. But, um, uh, toward the end of his life, uh, it's just, I don't want to, I don't want to sound mean about it, but I can't. And I can't not describe it this way. I mean, some live performances were fucking amazing, except for, you know, his low screams had just gone to shit. I'm sorry, but his low screams were just 
he's not there anymore. And he had the free, he had the, the, the frequent habit of cupping the mic, which, I mean, I'm not going to hate on that too much because it's kind of stupid to hate on that because so many other people do it. But he frequently, like, he hit his lows. If you saw him recording during, I think it was No Time to Bleed, or maybe the Black I forget what, but it was like studio update. Um, or it might have been the, no, it was, I'm pretty sure it was No Time to Bleed, because No Time to Bleed, uh, way too long years to off No Time to Bleed, isn't it? What happened one more time? What happened one more time? The song Wasted by Suicide Silence, that's off the album No Time to Bleed, right? Wasted. I think so, yeah. I think, I think it was so, like one yeah. of those hidden like bonus, bonus tracks that they had. Yeah, it, it's most yeah, likely it's from most No likely Time to Be because I know the only know one the bonus only track that they have for the cleansing is the stretch of the statue. So, like, yeah, it was No Time to Bleed. Well, yeah, and if you saw the studio update for that album, when Mick was recording Wasted, you can see that he was cupping his, like, mouth whenever he was doing rows, which I know a bunch of metal leaders get, get on vocal. Like, me and Randy as vocalists, you know, or me and Paradox, I guess is how you guys know him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> as vocalists, we get shit on. There is even, like, just a mention or, like, if our hand is positioned wrong on a microphone, which mine isn't even a fucking real microphone, it's a fucking Guitar Hero mic. Well, in his well, in case, his it's a Guitar case, Hero mic, but in my case, in my case it's, an actual mic it's an actual mic that I use. Mic that I use. Yeah, but like, even if it looks like we're cupping the mic, they'll, they'll get on your ass like that, like, oh, stop cupping the mic, you fucking pussy, like, <laughs> how about you leave me the fuck alone? Like, for real, like, it's just, but, um, uh, yeah, that, that's what I was saying. Uh, Toward the end of his life, Mitch's voice, uh, uh, his highest dreams were the shit. But toward the end of his life, he started sounding a little bit like Donald Duck. And I don't want to say that because it sounds mean, but it's true. <laughs> uh, I, can, <laughs> I can show you a live video where it sounds like he's Donald Duck, and I'm just like, bruh, your voice has gone to shit. But, um, the, the, yeah, then he died, and it was sad, but, I mean... It did, I, mean, I don't want to say that it was a good thing that he died, but some good came out of it, is, which uh, what I need is the Vince Walker Memorial Show, because that shit was fucking amazing. All, so many vocalists in one fucking concert. It, I was so... I, I fucking loved it. Like, let, um, let's just mention one thing. OCD with Austin Carla. I, that's I, knew I, I knew you were going to go there. I, I knew, knew you were going to go there. I do. I knew you were gonna go there. I was, I, I, I was honest with you. I was kind of, I was kind of hoping. I was kind of hoping she was gonna say something that Phil Bozeman, but she, I, I just, that, the second thought was Austin Powers. Sorry, sorry. Phil Bozeman's performance got my dick hard. Like a whole new level. Of, it was, and it's not gay because I didn't want to fuck him. It was just the music. It, it, it was the music. <laughs> so it, it, it was. It was not. <laughs> Phil, I know you're not watching this, but if, if by some miracle you do happen to be listening to this, no homo, bro. I, I, I <laughs> no homo, okay? I, fuck it. I, I love you, but not like that. I want to suck your dick. No homo, bro. <laughs> <laughs> But I mean, okay, it was a ter- it, it was obviously an expression, you know, to you know exaggerate. But his performance was the shit. Like so many good vocalists that night, and I'm just like, well, one thing I like, I don't mean to like, cause like, I'm talking all over the place here, and I'm probably taking up a bunch of time. But you know what? Who gives a fuck? Um, since Carissa had mentioned Austin Carlisle, I don't mm. like. What pisses me off is I see everyone hating on his performance, particularly. Who the fuck would do that shit? I swear. <laughs> They're like, oh, he's cutting the mic. Oh, this. Oh, that. And I'm like, he's a fucking metalcore vocalist. They're like, fucking hoes anyway. <laughs> like, yeah, it was it was a show where fucking Mitch's friends performed first off, and it was a tribute. So either don't watch the fucking video or kill yourself. So you're only two options. Like, <laughs> it is. Not Austin Carlisle. Who the fuck does that shit? 
raises his hand. Anyways, uh, my thoughts on Eddie, uh, I think Eddie, uh, okay. I might get a hate from, like, all the emo kids watching this, which is probably only, like, one or two. <coughs> Man, that was a call. Man, that was a call. Well, call for you. I don't fucking not make this about let me see how far is this from recording an hour and one minute well i mean podcasts are normally like over an hour and shit okay all right i because originally i think i want to try and make the 25 30 minutes to the max but i mean if if we're not like if if it's like a weekend we can most likely do an hour but i mean you know i'm fine with this because it's it's, it's our first podcast so if you guys want us to answer questions, leave it in the comments down below. We'll do Q and A's. Oh my god. Yeah, and if yeah, you want, like if you want, if you want to, if you want to, reach to us. Reach to us. You could find us on you Facebook. Find us on Facebook. Um, um, yeah, Paradox Echoes. Instagram is way better. Just saying. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's, oh, yeah. yeah, Instagram works. Yeah, Instagram. 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 If you want to follow me on Instagram, it's at that underscore screamer kid or at that underscore screamer underscore kid it's i don't know but it's just that screamer kid so i mean if you if you got that there you'll see a picture of my fat ass face doing some vocals and shit and yeah you can just follow me and i'll probably follow you back because i'm not one of those people that's like oh you follow me well uh fuck you yeah I mean... I'm not, I'm not, okay i might not follow you back but that's only if you look people Okay. okay. As for me, as for me, you can follow my Instagram, follow Instagram at paradox, at paradox underscore, echoes. underscore echoes. So I basically, so I basically my, my YouTube name just YouTube without the coverage. Without without you, you can follow me at Kaboo X lowercase X Kaboo Slenderman underscore Watch Your Bag Kaboo X. If you don't get your number for Christmas, looking ass out of my face. Okay. Uh, okay. Pretty sure. Yeah, I was about to say yeah, that. I'll, I'll say that. I'm, pretty sure I'm pretty no sure one is gonna, no get, the one's gonna get the reference from Dashi. From Dashi. Unless, you Dashi, Unless you guys watch Dashi, Dashi, then, Dashi then, then fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. But if you don't, so then, if you don't apologize. then apologize. I, apo- I apologize for the I random references. Dashi XP and to Dad, I'm Dennis. Dentist. Dentist. <laughs> okay, now before I forget, now before <clears> I forget. <throat> me and Lewis me and are, Lewis are technically, speaking technically speaking in a band together, in a band together but he like recently moved to Florida, Florida. So, it's, so. It's, 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 it's not really a band, but it's more of just like something that'll happen eventually when we have people. Because right now we're just two vocalists. 
Yeah, I guess you yeah, could say I with the 21 pilots of metal. Of metal. Except, Except, I mean, Except they're in a bandage suit. I like to see the balls. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Okay, then. Great insert, Chris. Great, great insert. Good talk. Good talk, Coach. Good talk, good talk, Coach. <laughs> I'm trying to put my input. No, no. no <laughs> it's no, fine. It's fine. <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow, yeah. Thaku! Wow, Thaku! <laughs> okay, so I think so this I is a good time to end the time. podcast because it is 4 17 in the morning and I'm tired. I mean, I don't have work later, yeah, but I'm still, still tired. New Year's was a bitch. New Year's was a bitch. I, I peace, love, and titties. <laughs> Ass and titties. Ass and titties. Okay. okay. Uh, uh, Lewis, are you saying goodbye? Chris, are you, you want to say goodbye? Chris, you want to say goodbye? Bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You yeah, have piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. See so you yeah. guys. We're probably gonna do another one you guys, we're probably gonna do on another Friday. One. Friday. So. I, I know y'all can't see me, but I'm driving. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Right. Peace out, everyone. Peace out, everyone.